Hello everybody, Admiral Kroll reporting for duty. Welcome back to Conan Exiles, and if you haven't noticed, I'm a woman. I decided to roll a female tune for this video because it is not part of the normal Conan stuff. This is going to be a standalone video that is all about early progression and where to build good bases or good spots to build bases and where to find resources and this will be a continuing thing and we're going to break it down by map area first we're going to cover this southern river area here which is the beginning starter zone that you end up with and it's good that we came in on the west side so we can make our way north to the river and we'll just work our way east covering potential good base building spots all the way down to the east end I'm sorry coming in in the east working all the way towards the west I got my directions mixed up I don't know how that happened so this this will be a different sort of series and we will continue making progression in the D server PvP or D server PvE community series. Um, this is going to be a little bit more focused, though, instead of just how to or how I play or this is what we're doing. You know, this is more of a how to look at the map and where to find stuff. Um, we are going to make our beginner set of clothing though so we're just gathering some some re weeds and you'll find as you run up the path towards the river area a bunch of sticks and rocks and these are the first items that you're gonna want to gather to make your first tools and your first clothing items and just follow the broken pathway or the broken highway is it so aptly called and you'll encounter the bat demon and I think stuff like this has been done before uh, but I decided to take my stab at it and do a little bit of a general overview of map locations and where to find stuff and we're doing this in a single player environment with the civilized settings Nothing else, nothing else has been tweaked, except for, I think all I did was added a bunch of encumbrance um, in case I decided to do some carrying of stuff and things. But we won't be building a whole lot. This is more about uh, map locations. But like I said, we are going to make ourselves the beginning set of clothes so we're not running around in our underwear all right so here we are coming up into the eastern border of the river area that will would be breaking into the new jungle biome which will we will be showcasing later in this adventure series and your first enemies you're going to come into contact with are these here imps and this guy we're going to avoid because he's going to kaboom that's all right so we'll come down here we'll zoom in on our map this is our first area we've come all the way up just straight north and this is the first area we're going to look at first area we're going to look at as, as you can see, there's a fair amount of rocks and trees about, as well as plants for picking fibers. This would be the first ideal spot to kind of put yourself for beginning your grand adventures, your long-term adventures, into the world of Conan Exiles. It, it wouldn't take a whole lot of time in in areas like this and and there are a bunch going along towards the east on the bottom side of this river areas like this where 
You don't have a lot of dangerous creatures about. There aren't any NPC thralls about. And you have all the basic essentials to get your, get your game started. There's creatures for killing for resources, as well as getting that XP out of them and getting your first crafting stations online and things of that nature. Um, and we'll continue north. This whole area right here is really, really ideal. If you didn't want to block off the trees back there, you could all this whole area, you could always build closer here. There's lots and lots of trees. There's nests which hold eggs. There's antelope and imps about. There's just plentiful stuff. And that's that's something you want to think about, you know. There's not a lot of advanced resources. Oh hey! We'll kill this guy off here quick. There's not a lot of advanced resources like I was saying. Um but that's the idea of the new the river area here in the south it's not to get mid to high-end gear it is meant to get the ball rolling and make you want to progress further into the map all right so here we're at the river we're going to go ahead and take a drink and we've gained four levels simply by picking plants and killing one imp. We haven't done anything else. And we have found a spectacular place to build a starter base. There is a thrall camp right there, which looks like it's just a singular thrall there. Looks Well, maybe two. Looks like two. Yeah, there's two guys right there, so you could use those for XP or getting your first thralling experience in to practice knocking out and capturing. Um, and as we travel, we're going to start heading east now. Uh, the Newbie River area, as I've come to call it, as well as many other Conan players, um, is rich in basic resources. As you can see, there's lots of plants that you can pick for seeds and plant fiber, uh, lots of trees to cut down, tons and tons of rocks um, to mine. You're also going to find these here. These are lotus, yellow lotus, and you can refine those into a potion that lets you reset your stats. And who doesn't like a stat reset? To be able to resituate yourself is a really good thing. Hey, we got company. And this first episode in this in this line is kind of like your your first hours, your first experiences. For those of you that are new to Conan Exiles, I think this will be a quite handy thing. You can rob these nests here of eggs while <laughs> while <laughs> the watchers sleep. And as long as you don't hit them or draw attention to yourself, you can escape with some tasty treats. You're also going to find lots of aloe leaves, and you can refine those into health potions later on. And we have here, on this second peninsula area, as we talked about before, we came up north here, straight in. This is all a really super great area right here nice and flat lots of trees and rocks to work with this here is an another good area there's water nearby i mean you can look at this it's it's all relatively flat there's tons of trees there's another thrall camp over there with a couple of guys so you can practice fighting the npcs or your thrall capturing um, and lots of rocks to mine Continuing east, you're going to find lots of pockets like this. Like the, the previous two that we just visited. Little pockets with like a small thrall camp with a couple of NPCs. Um, imps scattered about. Ooh. 
you don't want those guys will explode on you and probably kill you but yeah you'll see little camp or bonfires with npcs about like i was just saying and you'll find lots of open areas like this in the southern in the <laughs> you'll find lots of areas like this in the south river area the the newbie zone as it has been coined and you you're going to start off with stone picks and stone axes to get your materials with so your gather rate's going to be kind of low but rest assured as you make your progression and you get into the next tiers iron and steel your gather rates will will slowly increase and that makes the farming of materials much much easier see there's another i don't know if it's rendered but it looks like there oh yeah it's a campfire okay it looks like there's a, a lonely thrall over there npc um and continuing east you know it's a good area to get your practice in mess with the building parts get some ideas flowing um, the islands are really nice they also have small thrall camps some of them have four and maybe five but this is the kind of atmosphere you can expect when making your first dive into the game And there are also cool places to explore like here we have two giant statues and it looks like there's a campfire up there i don't know if that's a thrall camp or actually oh yes um there is an, a non-aggressive npc up there and i can't remember his name for the moment but you can talk converse with him and you can learn an emote from him as well and you're just going to be doing a lot of fist fighting early in the game. So we've killed a few imps and we're level 5, pushing level 6 already. And we haven't spent any points. But, you know, here is another fine spot for a beginner base. There's a nest nearby for eggs. Water is close as always in this southern area. You know, you break into this spot, there's just so many locations that would work really well to get your building adventure started. This is a fine location as well, nice and flat. You'd have to clear out the trees, but that's the timber to work with. You know, rocks are a little bit scarce, but not far away you see just beyond the trees over there there's a lot of rocks you can mine in both this way as well and there's another thrall camp they're not too close but they're not super far apart either and as you can see there's an active ecology they're fighting they're fighting what look a crocodile three NPCs fighting a crocodile. It's great to see stuff like that. It makes the world feel very much alive. Whether they'll succeed or not, I have no idea. Ha! Uh, another fine spot right here in this pass. Both in the pass itself and on either side. And the Sentinels that's what these giant statues are labeled and you'll get a nice chunk of XP for coming up onto them for the first time discover them if you will and let's go visit this guy what is what is his name I don't remember Arcos the Wanderer that's who he is he is classified as a fighter and I'm pretty sure you could probably capture him as you would any other thrall. But as you can see, Another you can one, converse hey. with him. Smell it on you. And you'll get a chunk of XP for doing that. And you can learn emote, polite clap. Once a sailor, now a wanderer. 
When you can converse with him and learn a little bit about the lore of the exiled lands. On the other, on the east side of the pass, as you now, as you can see, tons of rocks around, tons of trees. Another great place to build your first base. And we've only gone about halfway, and starting right here, we found one, two, three. There's a nice spot in here. And on both sides of the Sentinels are great places. Um, so that's like six different areas where excellent base potential. Oh, we're not messing with that croc. We're just going to keep running. Actually, maybe we can get them, get him trained onto these guys and start a fight. Well, maybe not. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been fun, though. I think they'd be more aggroed on me than the crocodile. And always, as you're exploring, looking for that perfect spot, gather up all, all the plants, the aloe, the lotus, that you can. The, the aloe, while you can't do anything with it right away, getting a stockpile early on will equal great success later in your gameplay journey step scout and exile camp we successfully and that'll get you a chunk of xp too if you press the jade key you see uh, journey steps that you can complete and each time you successfully do that you'll get a chunk of xp so if you follow your journey as you, your journey steps as you explore looking for that first base location you can get some levels really really quickly early on and th this isn't really a great spot i mean actually let's come up here let's come up here up on this little rise and have a look yeah see this isn't really horrible you could build a, a little hut right here if you wanted to um, that nest right there being an egg provider um, but if you come down to the other side you get a, a bigger area to work with I mean it all depends on what you're trying to build how big you want to go early on some people like just staying in the south and traversing everywhere I like to build a little spot in the south get the ball rolling unlock some things and then find a another location somewhere else in the world and Shattered Bridge, we just discovered the Shattered Bridge. And the Shattered Bridge is right there, aptly named. A bridge spanning across the waterway, broken in what looks like two spots. Yep, broken there and broken on the other side of that central pillar as well. Um, and again, we find another nice area that's fairly flat and these little these rises up here are great locations as well we just completed a journey step climb and got a nice chunk of xp um, these are great spots as well if you just if you don't want to get down in there and you just want to pop up a little four by four foundation with some chests and some a bedroll maybe to get your ball going this is a great spot for that as well oh i wanted to grab the wall on the way down but hey we're just trying to avoid the imps aloe is plentiful down here the yellow lotus is pretty plentiful down here for getting those early stockpiles And coming up on the Shattered Bridge now, there's another Thrall camp here. Looks like there's one across the way right over there. Just over that way, there you see a guy, a lonely guy standing there. A couple actually now. But we're going to swim up here and see what else we can find. Going a little bit eastward still, we're running out of out of buildable space, but there is something worth note. 
That was cool. We just watched him take a drink. That was pretty awesome. Here is probably the last area on the south beach of the Newbie River that I would consider building. It's a nice flat area. There's lots of stone and trees around and lots of stones to mine across the way. And any further than this, and you'd probably get a little too close to this thrall camp up here. It's a Defari camp which leads to the Dreg's Dungeon the first dungeon that you can encounter in Conan Exiles. Very fun to do, very simple, but very fun to do. You can work your way down into the depths, fight the abysmal monster, and learn, learn all kinds of cool recipes as a reward. Skulker's End, as it's called. And again, we get a nice chunk of XP for those discoveries. So wandering around doing your thing getting those materials early on in the game and completing those journey steps is the surefire way to get some early fast levels and we're not going to hang out here too long and we're probably going to die we're just going to run up here to the up these stairs into this hallway and discover the dregs the dregs this is the entrance to the first dungeon that you will encounter hey i don't have kick oh kick oh oh let's let's get out of here <laughs> that was that was a little bit too much fun right there oh man and we're gonna make our way out of here hopefully without dying all right we managed to escape without dying we got in, up into the drags. We look at our map here. We discovered several things. We discovered the Sentinels, the Shattered Bridge, Skulker's End, and the Dregs. Oh my god, a crocodile. Let's get out of here. We haven't done anything but run around and gather a couple sticks and plants and things. And that will get you 10 points initially to spend, as well as some feet points for learning new recipes so we're gonna continue on our way and, and it's only been honestly it's only been about 28 minutes you know that first half hour you can get eight about nine levels just roaming around discovering things and checking things out and especially if you've applied yourself and did some mining and some resource gathering that those will get you more XP as well so your first half hour of Conan exiles following your journey steps and fending fending off the imps that you encounter killing your first creatures building your first base you're looking at potentially 12 to 15 levels depending on how aggressive you go i mean we've gotten nearly nine levels just wandering from the east beach all the way to the dregs on one side and only fighting a couple of imps that's all we've really done so this is really just a lazy approach um to to exploring just to show off you know this beginning area this first biome that you're going to come into and what to expect from the land of conan exiles creatures such as the crocodile which you see right there and the shalebacks which are the turtle gorilla <laughs> combination things as you see right here i mean that's a really good description they're kind of like a turtle but they're kind of like a gorilla 
There's Aloe and Lotus and Ness all about. Thrall camps, as you see right here. We're not going to get too close because we will die so easily. We got like a third of our HPs. Who? Oh, they've seen us. Let's run. But traversing these middle islands right now. Uh, we were going to work the North Beach, but we ended up doing the going down the Middle Island chain. The Middle Island chain right through here is full of more great spots with lots of rocks and trees and plants, all the basic needs to get your ball rolling. Heading back towards the Sentinels. Across the way, there's another great spot. It leads into a nifty oasis. And be warned, be warned. We will come up this way, but be warned. When you go to that, when you first visit this oasis right here, there is what there is a very large, very angry crocodile that I believe is the Crocodile King. Um, every, I believe every animal species has a king version, air quotes, of itself. The only one I haven't come across is... A hyena king. I don't know if there is such a thing, but don't quote me on that. And we're going to run up here. There's another exile NPC up there. Looks like he was carrying a shield, so that'll be a no contest loss. All right, so we're going to cross the river to the north beach here, and we're going to come up on this island, or this oasis, We'll climb up this rock face here. Hopefully not fall, because if we fell now, we'd probably die. Oh, God, we just got so lucky. We just got so lucky. A little bit of a, of, a, of a ledge right here. Vultures. There's vultures. Birds. I hate birds. Birds in this game are super nasty. I'm surprised they haven't... But maybe they just lie in wait. And there it is. Right there. You can't miss it. Larger than the other crocodiles, as you see here, there's that guy, the Crocodile King. Probably the first big monster, creature, animal thing that you'll come across. And <clears throat> very, very, very tough. Very tough. I do not suggest fighting him at all. We have explored the Southern River area. We only missed one thing, I think, to be quite honest with you. And right in, I believe it's right in here, is Hanuman's Grotto. Actually, no, I lied. It's over here, I'm pretty sure. It's Hanuman's Grotto. And we're going to go check that out real quick. Yep, right here, we're going to try and sneak in and get the trigger for the discovery. I mean, we could fist fight these guys, but there's a lot of them. Hanuman's Grotto, there we go. A nice chunk of XP. And we're going to make a hasty escape. Because there are far too many that we can take on at one time. So there you have it, folks. My new take on the land of Conan Exiles, looking and showing off great base locations. And as we continue area by area, we will be marking our map with resource locations such as iron or resin. If you, we get into the, you know, once we get into the frozen north. Um, And as you can see, in about 40 minutes of gameplay, without harvesting or crafting other than our first clothing, is all that we made. We fought a couple of imps, not a huge interaction with the things in the environment, just running around, looking at base areas along the island chain and the south beach area. We made a lot of discoveries. The Sentinels, the Shattered Bridge, went into Skulker's End and discovered the entrance to the Dregs, which is the first dungeon you can go into, as we talked about before. And we got 
eight levels, pushing nine. Getting off to a solid start isn't hard at all. Work on your journey steps. That'll get you a lot of XP combined with the farming, the harvesting, and the crafting of your first tools and armor. And that will get you the best start in Conan's Exiles. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. And feel free to subscribe for more games. This is Admiral Kroll signing off. We'll see you next time.